One of the more interesting functionalities in synthesizers is what is called variable wave shape. Now we've talked about waveforms and most synthesizers have an offering of waveforms that you choose. For example, a triangle, a sawtooth, a square wave, a pulse wave. But there are several synthesizers, some of which made by Bob Moog, that feature what's called a variable wave shape. And that is there is no setting for specifically a sawtooth wave or a square wave. There is a free turning knob that allows you to choose a wave shape that, that can be varied. For example, what we have here on the Moog Voyager, you'll see that there is a knob here, but there are no settings. There's only like a gradient between various waveforms. And here, let me show you what that looks like. Right now, we're getting a sawtooth wave, but we can turn it in this direction And now we're getting a triangle wave. We can turn it back. And you can see the change happening as it moves from one wave shape to the next. And now we have a square wave. We can move that over into pulse. So you can see, not only can you choose the standard waveforms, you can choose someplace between them. Now you'll also notice that this square wave isn't exactly square. And that happens with a lot of synthesizers. Your waveforms are not exactly the waveform that is marked on the front. But that's good because that means it has its own interesting version of that sound, which gives it its own sort of character and timbre. So you can choose these waveforms that are between a saw and a square, which is very interesting. Now, in the instance of this Moog Voyager, we have more than one oscillator, and they all have variable wave shape. So let's see what it looks like when we bring in another oscillator at the same pitch setting. The more you change the wave shape, the more varied your timbre is gonna be. You can see when they align, they almost kind of align, but then you have slight phasing which causes um, the shape to change, but still. So you can choose a square wave on oscillator two and a sawtooth on oscillator one or some variation. And in each instance, you get a new timbre, a new waveform. And that's very interesting that there's so much more functionality than in a synthesizer that only allows you to choose one waveform per oscillator. And let's throw in oscillator three and we'll see the diversity change vastly. And we haven't even gotten into tuning or octaves here. So imagine what happens when you start changing the octaves of various oscillators. even crazier wave shapes, and then tuning. So as we can see, there is a vast amount of timbral variance than, that can be generated when you have a variable wave shape and a synthesizer that not only has variable wave shape, but has multiple oscillators with variable wave shape.